love these new tires. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Out of the Den. As you've seen, my GoPro decided to have a mind of its own. I had to pull over to try to figure out what was wrong. Just pull it off the charger and it would not turn on. But, as you can tell, got that taken care of. Today, I wanted to talk about, you know, kind of a depressing subject, um, you know, like buddy checks, you know, checking on your friends, checking on your family. It, it saddens me to say that a really good friend of mine um, that I've known probably about nine years or so now um his daughter went missing um a week or so ago and uh they ended up finding her and uh she didn't make it um she had wrecked her car and um you know, she, she passed away. You know, so my buddy, uh, you know, he's dealing, you know, he's doing the best he can. Um, you know, they're going through like the final process of everything. And uh, brother, if you watch this, man, I know words don't mean a lot in times like this, but, uh, I'm here for you, brother. But, you know, that made me think of, uh... You know, just checking up on your battle buddies and your family, you know? Because you never know what one phone call, one text message you know, can do for somebody. Uh, you know, especially for our first responders and military. You know, these these men and women have been through a lot and continue to go through a lot. You know, and being a veteran myself, you know, you know, I, I, I'm not a, a combat veteran, you know, so I can't speak on, you know, everything what these guys go through. Um, you know, but just being around some of these guys, you know, I, you know, I can, I can kind of understand. And, you know, just, just a, a friend or family member checking up on that mean, really means a lot. And sometimes it can be um, the difference between life and death. So, you know, if, if there's a friend or a family member or even just an acquaintance or some random person you just see at Walmart, you know, that looks like they're having a bad day, you know, just be like, you know, just say hello, say how you doing. You know, try to bring a little light into that person's life. God, these tires are awesome. You know, side note, I just put a set of new shoes on this bike. They are Bridgestone Battle Cruise H50s and they are phenomenal. Even, you know, like fresh on the bike. You know, haven't been broken in yet. They are sticky as hell. Like, I feel like I'm just glued to the road. Um, you know, they have a pretty, you know, to me, you know, I, I, I don't know that much about tires, but to me it seems like they have a pretty aggressive tread pattern. And uh, they have like micro tread 
Um, if you look them up, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then they have like a, a tread that goes like right down the middle of the tire and it's supposed to split water up pretty good. But, you know, I only after being on these for, I don't know, maybe 100, 150 miles, I definitely recommend them. But back on topic, but yeah, guys, you know, my buddy losing his daughter like that, you know, it just really made made me think about you know how fragile life is and you know we just got we gotta look after each other and um, you know, like I said sometimes you know a phone call or a text message or a letter or any sort of you know human communication can mean life and death to somebody It just lets other people know that, you know, there are people out there who care. There are people out there they can lean on, they can talk to. Even if it's a total stranger, you know. Um, back when I was doing security full time, um, I worked at a Greyhound bus station. And there's this random... You know, completely random guy in there that, you know, I noticed, you know, something was wrong. You know, and I, I walked up to him and, you know, just talking to the guy, I got him to open up and, you know, come to find out, you know, he had just, you know, he's been struggling with drugs, you know, he had just become homeless and he was seriously thinking about killing himself. And, you know, I got him to open up and, you know, he started crying and everything, you know. You know, I, you know, I did, I did call the cops, you know, just to, you know, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what he had planned. You know, I wanted to help the guy, but, you know, I called the cops for everybody's safety and just to get this guy some help. But, you know, I sat down and, you know, it was a shoulder he could cry on. And, you know, I'd like to think, you know, that guy's doing all right now. And, you know, I may have, uh, you know, stopped him from killing himself. You know, not, not trying to toot my own horn or anything, just... You know, I'd like to think, you know, just a simple chat helped that guy. Oh, I hate rush hour traffic. But, uh... Yeah, guys, you know, just some food for thought, you know, just keep an eye on each other, you know, check in on your friends and your family and just, you know, say hey to, you know, a stranger who's looking down, but I'm going to jump off here so I can focus on uh, these crazy four-wheel drivers, but uh, you all have a great night, stay safe, keep your head on a swivel, and God bless. Peace.